Hi there, how are you? This is she, this is me, this is I, Pajuan Ro, and welcome to Uncensored Pillow Talk, your favorite show that we post content every Thursday night at 8 p.m. And we're here today, and it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> and I have here with me the one, the only, Matthew. Oh, Hi, darling, how, how are you? you? Thanks for having me here. So, um, you are one of the, like, bitch, bitches in charge. At Bo. Uh, one of them, yeah. There's a bunch of us. Probably. I know. <laughs> and Bo is like one of the busiest bars in the Castro. And talking about bars, are you thirsty? I'm very thirsty. Would actually. you like anything to drink? Sure. What do you have? Do you have um, oh, we have... Um, we got some vodka. We oh, got no, some but... wine. <laughs> I'll take him. <laughs> 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 All right. Just kidding. Uh, vodka soda is fine. Yeah, why not? All right. Perfect. And oh. can I have a Coke Zero, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, you. um, Castro is very big on lots of things. Like, mm -hmm. you can go to, there's museums, there's bars, there's events. Um, talk about a little bit, what kind of events do you have at Bo? Oh, at Bo? I mean, there's something for everyone. Um, they have different parties every single night. We just launched a new happy hour program, so the day people like to drink. Um, we have, you know, Jackpot Sundays. We have Vamp Mondays, which um, is a queer party for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Tuesday is cock shot, which is under the night. Pendulce Wednesdays, which is Latin night. We have my so-called night, which is a throwback night with 90s and 2000s. Mm -hmm. um, Carne Asada is hosting that, you know. Um, and she's amazing. <laughs> who? Who? Oh, yeah. Um, no one. Who? No, no one. Um, Can you say her name again? Oh, Carne Asada. <laughs> <Who? laughs> uh, <laughs> she's gonna show. She's gonna <laughs> We love you. Yeah, I love you, Carne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we have uh, Manual Fridays, which is like, you know, a go-go boy night uh, with Miss Jackson, which is mm -hmm. amazing. Um, it's actually our first party we launched, and that's what kind of what set us on the board. Because um, originally when we opened up, we just opened up. You know, mm -hmm. the bar, yeah. come in, have drinks, but we're like, we need something to liven this up. And so, mm -hmm. um, Joshua J, you know, started Manual uh, with Andrew Christian as our partner. Uh, and it really took off. And from yeah. there, we literally have a party every single night. I know, right and now. I love it. Because you can insane. literally go... Yeah any day and there will be something going on. Talk about the event that you had yesterday. We had Ross Matthews oh there. God, that was so cool. I was so <laughs> starstruck. So Ross Matthews hosts this podcast called Straight Talk mm -hmm. um, and somehow we get managed to be able to get him to do it at our place and so we opened the doors at 11 30 which is like three or four hours earlier than we ever do all the bartenders were falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were all so excited. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah no, it was a lot of fun. So, um, oh my god well, thank you. Perfect. So actually, yeah, Kettle One is a huge sponsor for us. Um, we, we sell so much of it that mm -hmm. they get this like VIP package for some of the managers that they, you know, the bars they mm -hmm. uh, produce for. Um, and they give it to like myself, Alexis, uh, Justin, who does Midnight Sun, yeah. um, Joshua J, and um, Curtis. That and so, yeah, amazing. we all went. We were front row. We saw everyone. Michelle Massage, oh! uh, MJ so Rodriguez cool. from Pose. Oh, I, oh, no. think I, I think I just quit. Ross. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> Oh God, I know, I Ross, Ross is, yeah, you know, Ross, Lovato, oh my God, and he's just such a darling, and um, we're going to go to the history because we did caught a very quick interview with him at Bo. Hi, Paju, I'm here with Ross Matthews. Thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, congratulations on the show. You know, thank you. It's so fun, and we're, we're up here in San Francisco for the GLAAD Awards. I've hosted seven times, and this year they gave me one, which is amazing. So my whole family came up. And my Straight Talk family, that's my podcast, Straight Talk with Ross. So excited that he's here. San Francisco always treats us so well. Here for the Glad Awards this week. Um, and that was a big deal. You know, we just put the word out on the social media, come at noon, free for everybody. And the place is packed. I'm so happy. I'm happy for you. And also, uh, you mentioned something that... Uh, you decided to do the podcast because you don't have anybody between you and the audience. Yeah. Because it's so competitive and sometimes you want to say something you cannot say. Well, show business is tough, you know, and it really is, at the end of the day, I'm just a creative person. So you want to create something and then put it out for the world. And when you are working with big corporations, and it's part of it, you know, I'm not complaining, but there's a lot of steps between you and your thoughts and what the audience gets. It's focus grouped, it's tested, it's changed their notes from the network. There are 5,000 opinions. Okay, but I wanted to see what would happen if I could create something that was from here to them. And now we're going on four years of doing the podcast. Bachelor number two! And 
basically you say whatever comes in your mind. It's all about opinion and point of view and family. So we try to create something very intimate for the listeners and we uh, love doing it. We really love doing it. That's why we come here for free. We meet these people, we hang out, we take every single picture. It's because there's something very intimate when people put those ear earpods in their ears or are in their car listening. They imagine us, they imagine themselves sitting at the table with us and we do the same thing. I wanted to say thank you so much and congratulations once again for the award last night. It was fantastic. Thank you, yeah, getting an award from GLAAD is really big for me because the reason why there are people like me on television is because GLAAD is shifting the culture by making sure there are people like me on television. Um, representing people in towns across the country who have not had a lot of representation. Um, can we play a little game? <laughs> Always. 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 <laughs> Never dry. I love the game. Yes. Um, so we're going to play a little game. Um, quick quick I'll tell you a word, and then whatever comes out into your mind, you just say it. Okay, you can say it. Like if I say a word, you say cock. Uh, uh, <laughs> if I say vagina, if you say never. Cock. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Did I do it right? All right. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Drum roll. <laughs> Nightlife. Uh, partying. Sex. Always. Prep. Yes. Open or closed relationship. Closed but respect open. Um, are you single? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was expecting for um, yes, I'm single, and I was like, okay, yeah. hi. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, <laughs> those open. Right. <laughs> um, you brought us some gifts. I did, Can yeah. you explain what they are? Sure, yeah. So because I have ESL and my English is a little bit And you speak more languages than me. Um, so I got some drink tickets here. So you can, you know, six free drinks anytime. Mm -hmm. I got two passes to skip the line and pay no cover, which I'm using on Friday and Saturday nights can get like insane. Insane, yes. Yeah. Oh my god, that oh, line. That is, yes. uh, that is clutch. I've been yeah. in that line. That's yeah. not, that is, uh, it's not easy. I know. It's, not easy. it's tough. <laughs> right. Um, and then we got a complimentary bottle of Mumps uh, Rosé, sparkling rosé. Oh, nice. And a bottle of Blue Angel Vodka, <gasps> which is based here in um, the Bay Area. Um, if you do want to get any of these um, amazing prices, go on our Instagram page, Uncensored Pillow Talk, or Facebook, Uncensored Pillow Talk, and the first one, two, three, four people that takes really cool selfies, just don't take it off your genitals because otherwise it's um, we have to delete them. Yeah, DM but I mean, I'll keep them <laughs> on my phone, but I will delete them from the, the page. But <laughs> if you take a quick selfie and just say something cool about the show and you got them. We mailed them to you or you can pick them up here. Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah, they're gonna love that. Yeah, well, thank you so much for being over here. You are yeah. a darling. Oh, no, You're a you sweet guy, oh, a cute person and everything. And I'm so sad right now that I just find out that you actually have a boyfriend. Oh, but it's okay, it's life. It's, 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 it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> right? Are we that? starting now? Yeah, yeah let's have a by the way, guys, this is one of my beautiful assistants. This is Kyle. He's wearing Andrew Christians. <laughs> and I, I don't know why he's wearing um, a shirt, but it's oh, okay. Oh, we don't need to keep that on. Yeah, stick that on, girl. Yes. Thank you so much. This is your Uncensored Pillow Talk. We're going to have some shots. I love you. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you and I'll see you next time, next week, Thursday, 8 p.m. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. Bye.